Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Janie and my husband Cliff and I are building a Vans RV7A. We wanted to create this channel for anyone who is interested in following along on our build and for our other adventures as well. Both Cliff and I are flight instructors. Cliff is an AMP and we both love tailwheel flying around Long Island, New York. That said, we have been wanting a fast cross-country airplane for a long time. We waited about 16 months for our quick build kit and actually received it just before we had to leave for a motorcycle event and then EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh. It was really hard to receive it and then let it sit for weeks while we were away. Vans gives you 30 days from when you receive your kit to inventory. And by the time we got home, we only had two days to inventory everything, which Cliff did all by himself as I was sick with COVID. It was a good thing that Cliff got that done in time because there were some items that were missing from our kit. Vans made it very easy and immediately mailed us the missing items. We got so lucky to have both the wing and the fuselage kits delivered at the same time, which is something Vans told us has not happened since before COVID. We did use Stuart Transport and cannot recommend them enough. Eric, the driver, brought the tractor trailer right up to our hangar, and as you can see in the video, it was the smoothest transition from truck to hangar. We also ordered our tools from Cleveland Tools, and here we are going through to make sure that we got everything we need. We decided to make a portable shadow board for all of our tools, mainly because our workspace is going to be split between our basement, garage, and eventually the hangar. We live a decent drive away from our airport, so we wanted to have our kit home so we could work on it at any time. While this is our first RV build, Cliff and I actually restored our 1967 American Champion Satabria three years ago in a two and a half car garage. We have since moved and now have a one car garage. This is what it looked like. Once we ordered our RV kit, we knew we had to do something about this dungeon, as I called it. So we took advantage of the cold winter months when we didn't want to be flying and completely renovated the garage. The most important things we needed for the RV build was really new wiring for multiple outlets, an attic for storage, air conditioning and heating so we can work on it year round, and my favorite part, an air hose run from the compressor in our basement all the way out to the garage. EAA has plans for a three by six foot workbench that we wanted to emulate. Since we do have a smaller space, we decided to make a two by six and a two by four bench, both of them on wheels so we can move them about as needed. We now have everything set up to start working on our RV7A. The next time you see us, we'll be bringing the wings home to officially, officially start the build. I hope this video was helpful and entertaining. Stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Coming out tomorrow for week number two, but for now... The stressful part. An hour drive home. So, we'll be back. We have insurance. <laughs>